the sweater that I produced. Y'all wanna know what's stuck in my head? I'm sexy dancing in that house. I feel like Britney Spears. Vibes are there. And just imagine like how the other pictures look. Like currently crocheting a sweater this is for my photo shoot we have no friends she loves to yarn she keeps scratching it it's kind of sick this is how fast i crochet in real time speed This video might be the process of my crocheting because if you didn't know, I do have a crochet business. It's called Made by Tamari. I will put my at on the screen for you to follow me. Right now, I am just in the process of creating, just have the idea that I'm going for. I'm making a sweater and so right now I'm just making the idea come to life. Then I'll show you all everything else in the process of crocheting because kind of a lot goes into it that a lot of people don't really know about but i'm gonna show y'all in this video and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos i love you i finished the front or back of the sweater that i'm making this is her now i'm thinking all right, so I was just gonna cut this out, but this is a part of the process. I made this way too big. So this is like, let me show y'all. Here. It's pretty big, like it's not that big, but it's pretty big. And I think it's bigger than what I wanted it to be. So I'm gonna kind of, I think I'm gonna make this a little smaller. I want it to be about right here. So I think I'm gonna take off like all of the rows from here and here so like both of these orange colors i'm gonna take off and we're gonna see if that is closer to my size so all right y'all so i have made two identical panels like this and this is gonna be the kind of front part of the sweater and like the back I'm going to connect them at the top, leave space for the head part, and then add the sleeves. Alright, so I just connected the two top sides, so I'm just going to put it on to see if I like it. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like it's a pretty decent size up here. Okay, so this is what we have so far. And then the next step would be to connect the sides like this so that it's closed and then start making the sleeves. Yeah. Hey y'all, it is currently Saturday morning. My photo shoot is today at 3. Um, I have my outfits together. I was planning my outfits on my TikTok live last night. But they helped me like come up with some things. If you don't follow my TikTok, you definitely should. But I haven't showed y'all the full sweater yet. Let me put it in. All right, so this is the sweater that I finished. Period. Yeah. I haven't um, blocked it yet, which for me, blocking is just washing it. Um, I'll usually like wash it with like cold water and some fabric softener, and then I'll just put it in the dryer and it makes it a lot less stiff and more, you know, more movie. I don't know, I guess. But I talked to the photographer and I'm doing two different outfits. I'm doing a masculine one and a feminine one. So the feminine one is gonna have a long skirt. I'm thinking this long green skirt and I'm gonna kind of like tuck in the sweater kind of, y'all will see. And then for the masculine look, I'm gonna wear pants. I'm 
trying for brown pants but I don't have any so right now I have to go to Target to see if I can find some brown cargo pants because I know Target has the cargo pants but if I can't find any then I'm gonna just have to wear these which are like a it's kind of like a khaki but I really don't like a tan it'll go fine with it I was trying them on yesterday I just think brown will look a lot better but if I can't find it I can't find it but yeah Time to go to the store, yeah. Just kidding, I was about to walk outside and I forgot it's 67 degrees outside. Where is my jacket? Like, all right, jacket acquired. And I'm gonna put my sweater into the um, washing machine before I go, just so that it can already be going. And then hopefully by the time I get back or like a little bit later, I can just switch it over to the dryer. And yeah, anyways, time to go. Hey y'all, so I'm back from Target. I found me some jeans Ooh. i found me some jeans these are them they're brown they sound like burgundy but they give brown but these were 30 dollars which i don't buy pants because they be 30 dollars for a pair of pants like so i'm going to walmart i'm gonna see what walmart has if walmart has some better jeans you know that aren't 30 dollars i'm taking these back like let's be for real but if walmart don't then we just wearing them hey y'all i came back from the store i did go to walmart but i didn't find any jeans there um because number one walmart has really big sizes and pretty small person as far as you know width wise so can't really fit any of those and they were about the same price as target anyways and they didn't even have the color brown I was looking for. So it was just, you know, whatever. But I still spent $30 at Walmart, even though I went there for one thing, I still got about five other things. So let me do a little Walmart haul, why don't I? All right, so first up, I just got this green sweatshirt just because it looked cool. It was just nice, it's just plain green. Next, we got some smells. Well, this is wax for like my wax melter. This is spiced pumpkin pie smells very much like fall which i needed i really because this is my other one that i have maple sugar drizzle i only have three squares left but this one smells so good and the one i just got smells really similar then i also got some lavender incense because i'm running out of incense sticks and i love lavender so i needed it next we got some ozium if you know you know um, and then I got some Mexican cream. This isn't the one that I usually get, but I wanted to make some elote. So I got this one because it's the only one that they had and I really don't need that much. So I was fine getting it. But yeah, that's my Walmart haul. All right, y'all, we're back home. I'm finna start my makeup. It is currently like 1240 something. My photo shoot at 3. I'm starting my makeup really early because I also wanted to make some TikToks, you know, some promo like of um, for this video and for the photo shoot pictures and all of that stuff. So I'm starting it right now. Yeah, we're going to start the makeup. And I also, that's what I was doing on live yesterday was mainly the makeup because I was playing around with the different makeup styles that I wanted to do. But we're just going to do like a natural kind of, a natural beat look it's not gonna be like beat beat but it's gonna be like you know it's gonna be makeup sorry y'all i just had like a little revolution revelation because i'm talking to somebody and we talk about the difference between like wealthy and rich and i said that's all the same thing to me like that's all the same thing talking about oh i'm not rich i'm wealthy like all right First thing I'm gonna do is prep my skin. First, I'm gonna go in with some sea breeze and then um, moisturizer and then a primer and then get into the makeup. Moisturizer. It's like the off brand of the Pond's one. It looks just like this with the blue top, um, but it works, so. 
don't care next we are going to put on primer i'm using the master prime um primer by maybelline new york i just put on a little bit kind of here and then a little bit on my chin and then just rub that baby in Now we're gonna start the makeup. The first step that I do is use concealer. I'm using the LA Girl, LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is the shade Toffee. Just some um, right here. A little bit on the forehead. Then I'm gonna go in with this contour palette by Kiss. I don't know what it's called because it's kind of rubbed off but my sister bought it for me i love this palette though i'm gonna get me another one because it's really good but it has all of these shades in it obviously <laughs> why well, i need another one but this is a really good color corrector too so i'm gonna go in with a flat brush and dip it to the color corrector and use that to blend around my mouth because that'll like correct for darkness or any like darker areas that i kind of get around my mouth And then once that is there, I can just use a beauty blender and go in with a little bit more of like some concealer shade and just blend that together. Now I'm going to contour with e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is a shade Rich Ebony. I want to say this is the darkest shade that they have, um, but I'm just going to use this to contour along my cheeks my forehead and then a little bit on my nose i don't like too much nose contour but just like a little bit and yeah i kind of like the concealer to dry down a bit i learned that from jackie i know i love jackie 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 hey right. i'm gonna um blend out the concealer for i mean blend out the contour first while the concealer dries <clears throat> And then come back and blend out the concealer too. With contour, you really want to blend upwards. That'll create the illusion that you're like, your cheeks are lifted. You know, it'll lift your whole entire face versus if you blend downwards, it's going to kind of give you a little droopy face. So I kind of like blend it here first and then get like basically kind of where I want it to be. And then I'll just blend upwards from here like this. Snatched. I usually don't put that much makeup on my forehead, but I figure since I'm doing like a photo shoot and we're gonna be outside, I might as well. Cause sometimes it be looking a little funny when you have makeup like on other places, but not on like your forehead or like, you know, I don't know. Sometimes it looks a little funny. So I just wanna avoid that. But we just gonna blend this nose contour out. And once again, I blend it like to this side i don't blend it to the middle of my nose because that's where you want the highlighted area to be in order to create the illusion that like the contour is there you know i just want to i'm gonna blend out my concealer right now but i just want to talk about people pleasing because i i've lived my life being such a people pleaser and i never really knew it like i do things to make other people happy even if it means that i won't be happy and that's just not how you want to live your life like you'll literally lose who you are as a person trying to please everybody else you know you can't please everybody especially if you're not pleasing yourself like especially like in my relationships and stuff i become co kind of codependent and i become so like focused on pleasing the other person even when i know that i'm not happy that's just not how you want to live your life for real and it's like i do have so much empathy and like so much care and consideration for other people's feelings and feeling like i have to be selfish in a way it's kind of like it's hard for me when i haven't really felt like that but i realize that sometimes people just don't have much that they can give you because they're not giving much to themselves either and 
that's a realization in itself i don't know how we got into this relationship talk, but i'm kind of feeling it but anyways yeah concealer is all blended i'm going to go back in with this palette and try to just scrape whatever i can out of there i guess but i just need it for like my jaw area like right here so I'm just gonna put some right there because i realized i didn't put anything there yet so then we're going to set everything with our powders first we're gonna set my under eyes i'm using the maybelline fit me this is in the color 360 mocha it comes with a little hidden mirror right here oh this is like the matrix bro anyways um sit there bad boy and i love this powder like it's really matte and poreless for real like like y'all see i know y'all see the difference like how shiny this part is you know it's really giving the girls what they need to be given now we're gonna set the um contour with this bronzer from fenty beauty this is the shade thick mint is that the shade or is that what it's called i don't know isn't it i don't know oh nine thick mint oh nine that's what this is lift up the cheekbones you know also gonna put it on the temples and the forehead i'm gonna start my brows i'm using this like pomade i think it's elf Honestly, I'm not too sure. I've had this for a while, but it's in a color espresso. But I just use a little angled brush and fill in my brows. All right, y'all. Eyebrows are done. I'm going to go in with this James Charles palette. I use this color right here for the blush. I'll just go in with this big fluffy brush. Tap, tap, tap. And boom, boom, boom. And I'm kind of obsessed with blush, so I could be a little heavy-handed with it, but I try not to be too much because sometimes it'd be, it be getting clown, but I try not to let it get there. But I'm just so addicted to blush. Like, it's just so pretty. And I put a little bit, like, on my nose, just, like, rub it around. A little bit on the forehead just to bring some color back into the skin. Next, we're going to do a highlight. This is just the Anastasia Beverly Hills um glow kit i don't even know if they make this anymore honestly but i go in with this um gold looking color my nose giving rude off y'all this but i'm talking about i get a little heavy handed with the blood y'all want to know what's stuck in my head i'm sexy dancing in the house i feel like britney spears she really ate that line up because britney spears really just be sexy dancing in her house like just all on my timeline on twitter I be, mm, mm, but she be getting it you know i can't blame her i can't blame her i feel like i be doing the same thing but like be going with the highlight um we're gonna do the nose tip of the nose boom boom and then we're gonna do the bridge boom 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 and then i do my brow bone highlight and I blend my highlight out because I don't like it to look like too like sometimes it be looking a little harsh but I like to blend mine out then I also put it on the inner corners of my eyes next I'm gonna switch over to my fan brush same shade and put it on the highest points of my cheekbone we shining, 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 yeah, shining, yeah. Alrighty, so the base is pretty much all done. I usually do highlight after I spray, but I forgot. Hopefully it's still there. If it's not, I'm gonna just put the highlight back on. But yeah, we are gonna spray and then fan. Okay, highlight is still pretty much there so i'm not really gonna reapply it um next i'm gonna do my eyeliner i love a good dramatic liner that's just my thing but yeah we gotta focus the end is a little shaky but i'm gonna clean it up with concealer so don't worry about that And I kind of just tap it like this and it does cover it up but that's when you go back in I don't know if I said this but this is the epic ink liner from NYX um I'm going to just go back in on the end 
period i'm putting lashes on so it really doesn't matter if they're perfect because the eyeliner never is perfect but i wear lashes while my lashes are drying i'm going to do my lips i usually line them with a brown liner but i can't find my freaking sharpener so i can't sharpen it and it be cutting my lip like i don't know if i want to wear black i feel like the black was yesterday i wore black and the black sometimes it gets muddy or sometimes it'll like it just won't look as good as just the brown does so i'm gonna still use the brown the lashes dry before it dries too much we're gonna put that baby on i use my fingers because like i said professional <laughs> i'm pretty sure even when i started putting lashes on i would use my fingers too like i do recommend tweezers for beginners or if you're learning how to be all right got the lashes on period all right now, the second step of the lips is this NYX Butter Gloss. This is the shade Bit of Honey. I need the, like, these, this and all of the shades. I love the NYX Butter Glosses, and they have such pretty shades. And a lot of times, the Walmart... Uh, I got this one from Walmart. A lot of times, they don't have, like, all of the shades there. And I don't be going to, like, makeup stores. Like, I don't go to, like, I don't go makeup shopping for real. So, yeah. Y'all, I just checked the time, and it is 2.20. I was supposed to be, like, ready by 2.30, um, which, I, you know, hopefully we, we still on track, but I'm just gonna use this to put little dots on my face. This one is, like, natural, naturally there, and I really just love it, the beauty mark that's right there, but the other ones are fake. So, just, like, one there, one there, maybe one on the forehead, one. And then I'd like tap them so they're not like so, you know, they kind of blend into your skin when you tap them, so. All right, y'all, the makeup is done, period. Now I'm gonna get dressed. All right, so I just took the sweater out of the dryer. It's still a little wet, but it's not too wet, so I'ma still just put it on anyways. All right, and as you can tell, it's a lot more like flowy it's like bouncy it's just like it's really flowy now which i love so i'm gonna put it on put the skirt on come back and show y'all all right y'all as y'all can see i did not get an outfit um video because i had to leave real quick and there's traffic because it's game day love that but yeah this is the first outfit with the little skirt and the sweater yeah um right now i'm trying to go to campus for the photo shoot because it's on campus but lots of traffic so we'll see y'all hey, i'm back in my car from the photo shoot and we only did one look which i'm kind of happy about because the masculine look it really was not giving as much as i wanted it to because the pants that i got they were too tight like they weren't baggy and i wanted them to be baggy to match like the bagginess of the hoodie i mean the sweatshirt but they weren't they were pretty skinny so i only did one look but also because he was shooting on like three different cameras he had like a film camera a like a i don't even know like a regular camera and then he also had like a polaroid kind of camera yeah he was real he was real ready he was prepared and i like that and he's such a good photographer like this is my first time shooting with him um but he was giving me poses to do he was telling me like put my chin down put my chin up which 
I really appreciate because I am someone who will like I'll have my chin up in pictures like I have my chin two down like I need the adjustments and stuff like that's really helpful anyways so the polaroid ones he let me keep two of them these are the two let me turn it back these are the two pictures this one's a little dark but like i still like it like the vibes are there and just imagine like how the other pictures look like anyways y'all i had such a good time i'm gonna go back home and make some more tiktoks and stuff just to like promote like the stuff so that when the pictures actually come and i can post them like people are anticipating them we'll upload this video and upload the pictures at the same time but yeah photo shoot was definitely a success and i'm definitely taking them pants from target back because i literally only bought them for this and i didn't wear them and i also don't even like them like i would keep them if i liked them but i just don't even like the way that they fit for real they're really skinny like wasn't going for it so and it was thirty dollars so you best believe i'm taking them boys back anyways i hope you enjoyed the video i'm so glad that you stayed to the end thank you so much make sure you give this video a like if you like the video the likes really help me to know like what y'all want to see more of on my channel so i really appreciate that and leave a comment down below if you have questions about my crochet business i can answer questions about that as well in the comment section down below and i'll link my crochet page and you know where you can go to shop and yeah thank y'all so much for watching i love y'all i hope y'all have a good rest of your day rest of your night whatever and i'll see y'all next time mm -hmm.